There's a couple ways to determine how many hours of wedding photography coverage you might need for your wedding. Um, and uh, you need to look at a couple things in order to make that decision. Uh, the, the first thing that uh, you need to decide is if you're going to do a first look. Um, and if you are going to do a first look, that can definitely extend the start time of your wedding photography. Um, and then the other thing you need to look at is how many important events you're going to have at your reception. Some couples are uh, all done with all the important events right after the cake cutting, and uh, some couples have uh, events that go all through the reception, including um, some kind of a formal exit with uh, sparklers, bubbles, uh, you know, or exiting into a limousine. Generally, what I suggest uh, without a first look is starting an hour and a half before the ceremony start time. Um, but of course every wedding is going to be a little bit different. Um, if you are going to, to do a first look, then I'd recommend starting uh, two to two and a half hours before the ceremony start time. And uh, then of course the ending time depends on how many things are happening at your reception. Um, full coverage, uh, without a doubt, would uh, definitely take you to the end of the reception. Um, but at uh, at least 80% of the weddings we cover, the last uh, hour to two hours of the reception um, doesn't require all that much photography and uh, could certainly be cut out of your day if, um, if uh, your budget allows for that. Um, in general, uh, most of the weddings we are booking are uh, anywhere between 6 hours and 10 hours, with the average somewhere around 7 to 8 hours. But uh, everybody's wedding is different. We've uh, done weddings as short as an hour and a half and as long as 16 hours in, in one day.